Moonbots Team Number 317. And we're excited to participate in Moonbots 2.0, sponsored by the Google Lunar X Prize Foundation. For our project, we decided to focus on how robots could influence space missions, including missions to the moon. In order to design whether humans or robots are better for space exploration, we decided to look at the disadvantages and advantages of robots versus humans. Unfortunately, robots have several disadvantages which explain why they are not currently in use. Robots cannot control their actions, only run programs that were entered back on Earth. One might think, well, why don't we just use a remote control? Then the humans can be safe and the robots controlled. There are several problems with this. For one, the signal may be interfered with when it's void in space, like if there's a solar flare. For connection from the Earth to the Moon, the lag is only a little less than a second, but if we were to use remote controls to more distant planets, the time lag could be a more serious factor. Of course, there's always the possibility of a malfunction. Malfunctions happen when something goes wrong, like if something falls off the robot. Common malfunctions for a robot are fallen parts, a glitch in the programming, or unexpected problems. An example is the Mars rover. One of the Mars rover's wheels unexpected malfunctioned and got stuck, but luckily it had five other wheels and it could drag the dead one. Another example is, again, the Mars rover. While it was charging the solar panels, a wind came and dust got all over the solar panels and it couldn't charge and eventually died. Lastly, people care more about human success over robotic success. For instance, if a robot finds alien life on another planet and comes back to Earth with evidence, it is not as exciting as if a human had done the same thing. This is because a human could explain what they saw, found, heard, or thought, but a robot could, can only bring back what it's programmed to bring. However, robots have several advantages, such as the lack of need for resources that humans find crucial. They do not require oxygen or other gases, food, or water, which makes them cheaper to build. Also, if a failure occurs, it does not cost any human lives. Conveniently, robots are immune to sickness, therefore they are unable to die from diseases. One big advantage for robots is that we can send them on one-way missions, whereas so far, we have always planned for human crews to return to Earth. Two robots have survived more than six years on Mars. The humans would have required enormous resources to last that long or come back to Earth. Also, robots can go where humans can't. Most importantly, robots can work all day and all night. All in all, robots are capable of completing great space missions. For all these reasons, robots are cheaper and more efficient to send into space. However, we think the best strategy might be to send robots and humans together. This is often done on Earth in hazardous locations or under the sea. That way we can get the advantages of both and overcome their disadvantages.